Hey, it's Lane with Windows RT Source, your source for tips, tricks, hacks, and apps to make your service or Windows RT device everything you want it to be. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 must-have apps for the Surface. We believe that the Microsoft Surface, Windows 8, and Windows RT are great products, and that there really aren't enough resources out there for owners. So we've created this channel specifically to fill that gap. We also believe that the Surface and Windows are beautiful products, so we've created this channel as a showcase. And we hope you enjoy our top 10 apps of April 2013. OneNote does come pre-installed on the desktop, but we're not interested in that. We are looking here in the store, you want to download it from there. OneNote is a note-taking app, as the name suggests. Up here in the top left, you can access your notebooks, sections, and you can divide up each section with unlimited numbers of pages. My favorite feature is right up here, this little circular toolbox, which is touch-friendly. Got cut, copy, and paste here. And rich text editing, like bold and italics here, there are a number of other tools available there, and OneNote is free. Being a blogger, I am heavily involved in social media, so Twitter is very important. Navigating the app is very quick and smooth, it's responsive, no problems here. Show you what composing looks like. You can add a picture from your library. Of course, you can also add one directly from the camera. We'll find all the features you'd expect, such as connect, discover, and the me or profile section, which I think looks great. It's really easy to navigate. And Twitter is free. Next we have News Bento, or News Bento. I'm not really sure how that's pronounced. Flipboard, as you may know, is not available for Windows yet, but this is an excellent alternative. One thing I love about it is not only can you search for a news source, you can also add their URL feed directly here, which is excellent. That's how I add my blog, which is right here. And I'll show you what the reading mode looks like. As you can see, it's pleasant horizontal, as you'd expect with Windows. And this app is free as well. Okay, Photor. We all need to do light photo editing on the go, of course. You can take a photo from your library, and you can make a collage. I'll just show you the general adjustments here. Zooming and panning is butter smooth. When you make these adjustments, there's a little bit of a delay, but that's not that big of a deal, to be honest. I really love the blur feature here. You've got this center sort of vignette type of a blur. You can always undo and redo there. Also, I, I love the tilt shift. That is excellent, sort of reminiscent of Snapseed. Of course, you've got Crop. And I love this one tap enhance. It, it really doesn't do justice here, but if you've got one of your own photos, it, it does do a, do a pretty good job. You can also add text to the photos. Let's show it. Having a bit of a hard time. There we go. So we'll just say blah blah blah. There you go. And Photor is free as well. This next one here is pretty obvious. We've got Hulu Plus. If you do not have Hulu Plus or haven't tried it, you really should check it out. This application is gorgeous. I love these full screen previews. The app is, again, very smooth. Got your different categories you can browse by. Shows you watch here. Trending now, best of Ellen, best of mania of WrestleMania, I don't know what that is. We'll dig a little deeper into the featured section just to see what that looks like. Just get this nice grid layout. Let's find a clip here to see what it looks like. The fact that all of this programming is in widescreen really makes the 
16 by 9 aspect ratio something to cherish on your surface you can always navigate through the categories by swiping in from the top there and go back with that arrow Hulu Plus itself is free but of course you do have to pay for a subscription Sketch Touch is an essential app for someone like me. Show you here all these images. You have seen these on winrtsource.com. This is how I make these images. It's very, very useful. Just show you what the interface looks like. So we'll choose a photo in my library. This one should be fine. Got this row of tools on the bottom here. We'll start with the arrow. You can change the size and the color. Also got a rectangle, which could be a circle or an oval as well. I love this pixelate feature, which just allows you to hide some information you don't want to be seen without blocking out the image. You can save it to the cloud with your Evernote account. You can export it as well to your images library. And that's Sketch Touch. It is also free. Windows 8 and Windows RT do not come with a dictionary pre installed, but WordBook is a perfect solution for that. You type in the word from anywhere, tap on WordBook, it'll pull up the definition for you. We'll just search for words. Also, there is no internet connection needed, these are saved to the library. Got definitions here, links. We've also got a favorites list if you wanted to save a word. Also, there's a history of words you've searched for. You can, of course, scroll through the dictionary to find the word you're looking for. And there is a thesaurus here. Wordbook is free. Everyone needs a YouTube application. Since Google is not making applications for Windows right now, I'd highly recommend YouTube RT. Got your uploads, playlists, subscriptions, history, and settings there. Just to show you, you've got these different sections that you scroll through horizontally. You can organize these. For instance, if you want to see most popular up front here, that is possible. I'm going to show you what the playback looks like. This video from Vsauce. Got you can maximize the video just tapping there. Got nice large controls. If you swipe in, you get more. You can go back to the details page. Give Michael a like. What I love about this application is the video continues to play while you browse other sections. You can go into your subscriptions, scroll around, it will continue to play. If you swipe in from the right, go to settings. It still continues to play there. Show you settings real quick. You can change the default playback size, which I love. A few other settings there as well. Of course, pause and skip to the next video if you're doing a playlist as well. It's YouTube RT, it is $2.99. Everyone needs a reader. I won't show you both, but Nook and Kindle are both on the Windows Store. Just show you Kindle real quick here. Got this book kind of loaded up already. Just to show you the different settings that there are. You can pin a book to the start menu. Here, if you can get that to work. There we go. You can change the font size, of course. You can switch between different margin spacing, black, sepia, or white themes. You can change from one or two columns, depending on what you prefer. It's a relatively simple application. We'll go back home and there is a store so you can shop and buy books directly from here as you'd expect. This is relatively nice looking and again relatively smooth. You can browse by these different categories. The Kindle app itself is free and there is a large selection of free books as well. Cool is kind of an interesting app. It's even spelled interestingly, Q-O-O-L. I don't really know how to describe it, so showing you would probably work out better. So you can 
see here, this is sort of your dashboard and you can organize different files and notes here to keep your day structured. That's how I use it anyway. As you can see here, you can add a file including pictures, audio, video, or you can take a picture from the camera directly. This I don't really find that useful, but essentially it just layers the different files you have for you. I kind of like to layer them manually. And then here you can change the background. If you don't like the gray, there are a few different options available. And the other thing you have in this menu is to change the draw, which is this lined background that you see. I usually use this one, just the days of the week. It helps me keep my schedule organized. And cool is free in the Windows Store. Thanks so much for joining us. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, I want to give a shout out to our videographer, whose Facebook page will have a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.